Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Rich and Winston. What we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is your dog's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the correction and the motivation that we give the dogs when we're working with them, and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give the correction and the only correction that we give is a tug and let go on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Winston's going to come home with his very own training collar and you're going to be taught how to use that during your follow-up training session. Now Winston is sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we would like to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash, and incorporated into that heel exercise is an automatic sit. Winston, heel. The command is Winston, heel, and at this point, Winston has a job to do, and that is to maintain pace with his owner or trainer, not dragging you down the street, not forging ahead or lagging behind, but staying right next to your left leg, always with you, always focused, and each time that you stop your feet, whether it's to cross traffic or talk to a neighbor. He should be sitting nicely at your left without being told and waiting for his next command. So if you change direction, you speed up, you slow down, he should be right there with you. And when you stop, he sits automatically. Now the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is the stay. Stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. Your long sit stay when practicing at home is for one minute, working up to three minutes. And this helps to develop his maturity and focus. When Rich returns back to him, he will walk all the way around him as an additional distraction, always returning back to that heel position, and they're going to take off healing again. All of our commands start and stop with the dog at your left in a seated position. He's doing a really, really good job. He should be right with you all the time. And when you stop, he sits. Rich is going to leave him in another stay. <laughs> he anticipated. Now, if he, he's anticipating the down command. So Rich is, brings him back up and has him do the command as it was taught. He must finish the command as it was taught. This time, instead of returning back to him, Winston, come. Rich is going to call him in, and he should come right in front and sit facing your knees. And that prevents him jumping all over you. And Rich is going to demonstrate that for you again. Stay. Leaves him in a sit stay, walks out to the end of the training leash, uses his name and a happy voice, and Winston should come and sit right in front of you. Very nicely done, and then Winston returns to heel. Now the next exercises that we're going to demonstrate for you are the down commands, and they're very important commands to have in the vocabulary that you share with your dog. The first command is the down from a heel position. So with your dog seated at your left, you use the open flat of your palm, push it straight down stay. toward the ground, and use the one word command to down. No. Your long down stay when you're practicing at home is for three minutes, working up to five minutes. And we have squirrels that are having a party behind us. That's why he's looking like that. And again, he's not getting up. He's not chasing the squirrels. He's, he's doing what he's supposed to do. Rich is going to heal him out of that exercise, and we're going to demonstrate that down from a heel position one more time. Down. Hands straight down toward the ground, and the stay. Three to five minute long down stays, and you can practice this right in the house. You don't have to go outside to practice obedience. Winston, come. Rich calls him out of that command, and Hat brings him in and has him sit. And then he returns back to heel position and back sitting. Very good. 
Now the last exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is you're down from a distance. And this is a little bit harder because the dog's not next to you. No. <laughs> Winston's lazy today. Rich leaves him in a sit stay, walks out to the end of his training leash, uses his right hand to give the command, and drops him into a down from a distance. And that is your down from a distance command. Now we've demonstrated for you your healing, your automatic sits, your stays, your down from a heel and down from a distance, and your come. These are all of the exercises that Winston has learned while he's been here at school. We'll be going over all of that with you and answering all the questions that you may have during your follow-up training session. Winston's been a great guy, and thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.